and welcome to the Alphaville podcast, where I will ask Marianne Gold from Alphaville, who is also my dad, about the songs on the upcoming album called Eternally Yours. Um, this is episode 10, and I want to ask you about the song Lessie Come Home. How did you feel when you wrote the song? Well, it was a, a very lonely week in Münster. Because it was the start of the summer holidays and 1980, I think, or 1981. And um, so everybody from the Nelson Project, from, from the band, everybody was gone uh, with their families. Yeah. Uh, and I was totally alone back in Münster. And uh, there was this uh, old chestnut, an old piano uh, from... Dread, Dreadwood and Reapers, or whatever was his name, and uh, but it it derived from Liverpool, and I found that quite inspiring. So I sat behind this uh, piano and started to play a little bit on it, and suddenly I had these chords, and uh, I thought it could be I could probably write a song out of these chords, and that was the moment when Lessie Come Home um, started. To see, to, to see, see the light, <laughs> the light of day. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, and I mean, the situation was that um, I was wishing that the people would come back, one way. Mm. On the other, uh, on the other hand, I was also a little bit homesick for West Berlin. We left mm. West Berlin for Minsa, and um, because we could live there all together, we had a studio together, we had all the facilities that we needed. Uh, and that was not possible at that time in West Berlin. So uh, Münster, on the other hand, was a very, very idyllic and beautiful place, and we had a, really a great time there. But sometimes I really felt homesick for West Berlin. And actually, most of the song, most of the songs from from the from our first album, uh, dealing with this homesickness. You know, is this big in Japan? Is it? Uh, Uh, Summer in Berlin, uh, The Jet Set, all these uh, songs have uh, pieces and bits that deal with uh, West Berlin and with my experience with uh, with that city. So, <clears throat> Lassie Come Home is, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a song about, um, oh, the question that it asks is, where, where is one's home? You know, where where do people belong to? You know, we, I mean, I think this is probably a question that we, we that we follow our whole lifetime. You know, where 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 are we where are we coming from? You know, which is the home of every soul, maybe if there is a soul. And um, I try to express uh, this uh, my feelings about home and what home means. You know, that is, I think home is probably the ultimate thing. It's uh, it's heritage. It's uh, it's our, you know, in our in our hardest moments, in the most serious and most troubled moments, we probably long for a home, you know, and um, that's what the song is about. And the the third aspect of uh, Lessie was that uh, I wrote it actually for the three of us. You know, we were three people in Alphaville at that time. Bernard, Frank, and me, and uh, I thought we should have a song which represents the three of us. So that's that's the reason that um, it has three verses, and that's also the reason that it um, has uh, this very long instrumental part in front uh, front of the song, which uh, the first half represents Bernard, and the second part represents Frank, and then the third part is the beginning of the first verse where I start to sing, and that's the third person, me. So we all united in this song. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> And why did you choose this track for the symphonic album? Because um, it was actually, actually, when 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 uh, I wrote the song, the, I can say that I wrote the song because this was probably it was the first song that I wrote completely on my own. Most of the songs I wrote together with. Uh, Uh, with the, with the other two, and I must say that the best songs, or the better songs that I wrote in my life, are all mostly did with other people together. I'm I'm really a team worker, you know, concerning comp composition, 
And I really like to do that. I think it's really a great thing, working together, composing together, having, you know, finalizing ideas, connecting ideas, different ideas with each other. And then in the end, there is a song. It's just a fantastic, uh, uh, fantastic uh, experience. So um, why did I... So, uh, why, why did I select this song for the, for the album? It was because when we later on when we um, arranged the song for the album, I had a I had a vision in, in my mind uh, without knowing exactly what that vision was. But this, it was a vision about the sound, and uh, it was actually the sound of a symphonic orchestra. And um, at that time, we we. We would not even think about the possibility to have a symphonic orchestra. It was not an idea at all. It was just that in the back of my mind, I had a vision about how the song should sound. And when we put it on the second album, After Zenitopia, it I think it was a great, it's really a great production, but it was not exactly what I had in my mind. So when we started uh, with Eternally Yours, with this project, uh, it finally came to my mind that that would be a great opportunity to bring the song into its final shape, you know. And so we did, and it it actually happened, you know. When when we finished the album, I listened back to Lassie. It sounded exactly like I had I had it oh, in my mind thirty five years ago, and it was really a very a great satisfaction. And it's exactly what you wanted it to be. Are you happy with it? It is one it's one of the few things that are that sound exactly. You, you I mean you're never really satisfied with with uh, with things, you know. You you try to reach a goal, never really reach it completely, you know. But with Lassie uh, sound wise, I must say this is really very, very, very close. Oh, amazing. I think every Alpha Bill song can be interpreted with a symphonic orchestra. Because uh, this is, uh, uh, because they are all part of a common, uh, common background of common heritage, you know, which uh, probably comes from very early um, contact with classical music, which uh, which I experienced in my life as a as a young boy. Um, Victory of Love, 